Hello everyone, it has been some time now. Okay, we are back now today. Okay, so today we are going to learn how to uh, change from a visual story. That means a visual storytelling. So this is all what we can see here. All these are actually visual storytelling, you see? Because we have the visuals as stories. So this is how the story is told in visual so we call this as visual storytelling okay you can see the four frames of pictures right and the dialogues in it okay so what we are going to do today is we are going to change we are going to change the visual storytelling to narrative so okay firstly we can see that we have how many frames here we have four frames here frame one frame two frame three and also frame four okay so this visual storytelling consists of four frames so we are going to uh, change this visual storytelling to narrative so how do you do that okay firstly okay we need to understand the characters in the picture and the scenario behind uh, behind the picture what can you see where is it okay like what i have listed here okay we have okay we have we have six things that we have to um, take note in the picture okay like you see in, okay it doesn't matter which frame but these are the basics that we have to adhere to when uh, we are going to create a narrative, okay? So the first one will be what, where, okay, the five WH questions and also how. But here we have six, so the WH questions, five WH questions and also how. So the first one will be what, second, third, who, when, which, and how. Again, what, where, who, when, which, and how. So, let's look at the picture now. Okay, frame one. First thing, what? Okay, what? What can you see in the picture? What you can see? You can see children, okay? These two children, they are actually pupils, okay? And you can see a person a lady who is actually carries mum okay and and also a goldfish okay but the goldfish actually apart from the story is like highlighted on the other side of the story because you see it's like an imaginary thing here it is just added okay so let's see what okay so we already answered the question for what what that means we have the characters. What? Okay. What? That means we have. Okay. All these characters. But actually. What? Uh, the characters doesn't answer what. So you have to look at the whole picture. To understand. To answer what. You have to understand the whole picture. But of course, I with the people in the picture, which are actually who. But it's okay. We will start with what. So to get a clearer picture, I started off with the people. So what? Actually, in this frame, we can see that uh, there's an event going on. So what is actually happening in the first frame? Okay, in the first frame, what we can see is actually is here. It's written here. It's career day at school. Carrie's mom is a dentist. She fixes people's teeth. Okay, so what is actually happening in this story? Okay, it's career day. That is the one happening in this first frame. Okay. Let's change this to a different font. Okay. 
okay this career day so so that actually answers the first question what is happening in the first frame okay so the title okay I forgot to tell you just now the title of the graphic story is actually what you want to be so these four frames are actually visual storytelling of what of occupations okay and what the children would like to be okay that is the story storytelling all about sorry just now okay and where okay the second question will be where where is career day at school so at school so we can write here at school okay, at school okay that's all okay who okay this answers the characters in this frame so the they are the pupils here so the pupils here are actually the audience the audience who are actually listening to this person who is actually talking and you can see behind the board okay it is written there what do you do so this is this is this confirms that this is a school and she is actually in front of the white in front of the blackboard and you can see also a goldfish here so you have actually one uh, the lady second the audience and also the goldfish but actually in this story the audience are not active characters the active characters are actually the person here the woman i mean sorry the lady and also the goldfish okay but the main character will be the lady who is speaking Okay, because she is speaking, okay, she is speaking. You can see the speech bubble here. And in the starting of the story also, starts with Carrie's mom. So, starts with the person. So, definitely this is the main character. So, she definitely is Carrie's mom. You see? It's career day at school. Carrie's mom is a dentist. She fixes people's teeth. And you can see the person here. So this is the introduction for this frame. Maybe uh, maybe the teacher, the classroom, the class teacher maybe have invited this um, Carrie's uh, mom to career, career day talk. Or maybe the principal has invited uh, Carrie's mom to give a speech on career day at school so she is standing here and this is the introduction of the frame so this is actually Carrie's mom okay so what we have to write here is who so this is the main character Carrie's mom is the main character Carrie's mom. Okay, Carrie's mom. Okay, who? So Carrie's mom. We have Carrie's mom. We have the audience, and also we have the goldfish. Okay, but the audience are. the audience are actually the audience are actually inactive uh, characters so the main character is carrie's mom who is actually talking actually she is giving a speech okay on career day at school and this one this little goldfish here is actually but imagining and talking on its uh talk, talking on its own way of talking because fish they don't talk so this is actually imaginary this is something imaginary imaginary which is um beyond this uh story but it is um it is like 
integrated into the story okay so you have to understand because it is integrated here the goldfish the character of the goldfish so that means this goldfish is actually a supporting character okay but we don't have to write about the supporting character because uh, they don't carry any importance in the few uh, initial frames so but you have to take note the goldfish is actually a supporting character but you have to also see that take note that there are two goldfish here one is the yellow goldfish and one more is the orange goldfish okay okay when okay what what can you see here to answer this and uh, to answer this question when okay when okay when when will be talking about Carrie's mom okay talking about Carrie's mom so we can see that we can see here that okay she gets up at six o'clock okay this is a speech she get uh, i get up at six o'clock in the morning every day i have a shower then i get dressed and i have breakfast at seven o'clock i take train i take the train to work so this is the this is the events that means the her routine what she does every day so she have she has actually come here to give a talk on her occupation i mean her daily routine on how she in her, uh, her daily routine in her occupation okay so we are going to write here when when means time so you check so six o'clock i get up at six o'clock in the morning every day and the second sentence which shows time is at seven o'clock i take the train to work so you can write here at six oh Okay. Let's not change the font yet. Okay, later we will change the font. Okay, that means Carrie's mum when so when she gets up and when she goes to work okay which okay so which means you have to understand that understand that this is she is talking about her routine here but actually which which occupation does she do what does she do so carrie's mom is a dentist we've already know that we already know that Carrie's mom is a dentist. So which occupation is she doing? So Carrie's mom is a dentist. Carrie's mom is a den dentist. Okay. Okay. Then how? Okay, how how answers how 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 does she goes uh, how does she go to work okay so it's the last one here at seven o'clock i take the train to work so you write here at seven o'clock I take the train to work, right? Okay. I take the train to work. So you write here, I take the train to work. So actually what you're doing is you are actually understanding the visual storytelling about all these four frames is called visual storytelling. But you are going like one frame after the other and 
and getting the details so that when you get the details and you put them in order, that means you put them in a table, it will be easy for you to, to write a narrative. That means to change from a story, visual storytelling to a narrative. So this is the way. So we have done the first one. So we're going to change the font now. Okay, so from here you can see from from frame one, picture frame one. Okay, let's read it again. It's career day at school. Carrie's mom is a dentist. She fixes people's teeth. Okay, so now she talks here. I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning every day. I have a shower, then I get dressed and I have breakfast. At 7 o'clock, I take the train to work. And you can see this little goldfish, the yellow goldfish, is actually murmuring saying that I want to be a dentist too. So this is actually, um, it's integrated into the, uh, this frame. Okay, so that's how, that's how the goldfish becomes a supporting character. But actually the main character is Carrie's mom. Actually there are three main characters, okay. The first one is Carrie's mom, who is a dentist. So let's see the answers, whether they are correct. Okay, the frame one from the picture, Okay, let's see the picture again. Okay, what is happening in the, in frame one? It's career day. Okay, where? At school. Who is the first main character here? Who is the person standing here? Who is this? Carrie's mom. Then when? When? So she is already telling about her routine. So when? So she gets up at when, when it doesn't matter what is the question, what time, uh, what she does, but when means time. So here it's highlighted that she tells the audience that she gets up at 6 o'clock in the morning every day and also at 7 o'clock she takes a train to work. So that's how you write here, when at 6 o'clock at 7 o'clock. Okay, you can actually add here. At 7 o'clock. Okay, just write here, get up. Or you can just write there, she gets up. Okay. And the second one will be at 7 o'clock. She takes the train. Okay, that, that would be better, okay? So, we've already answered when. So, at 6 o'clock, Carrie's mom gets up. And at 7 o'clock, she takes the train. Okay, that's her routine. So, when is actually her routine? Which? Okay, which? Here, we know that is already given here is career as career day at school Carrie's mom is a dentist she fixes people's teeth so this is actually her occupation description of her occupation what does she do and this is her routine the speech is actually about her routine everyday routine in her occupation so let's see which so which means which occupation does she do so Carrie's mom is a dentist okay And how? How? How does she go to work? How does she commute? Okay, it's here. I take the train. At 7 o'clock, I take the train to work. Uh, she tells the audience that she takes the train at 7 o'clock. She takes her at 7 o'clock, she takes the train to work. Okay, so this is complete. So we can write now. Since we already have the... the basics or maybe the draft of the important points from the visual I mean, sorry from the visual storytelling of the four frames the first frame of the graphic story okay we already simplified into the details we have already simplified the details in in the first frame by completing the 
simple table here. So this will assist us to actually write the narrative for frame one only. Eh? So let's write frame one. Okay, let's write the narrative for frame one. Okay, so we will start here as it's a day. Okay. What, what is happening, isn't it, in the picture? So it's career day. Where is it? It's at school. At school. So this is how you make simple, uh, you take down the simple details and put them into a table. Then you use those details in the table to actually construct sentences to write a narrative about a frame, one frame. So this will be done for all the four frames. Then you get the whole narrative of this visual, visual storytelling of this graphic story. Okay. So it's career day. We have already answered two questions. Okay, who? So we will write here who? Carrie's mum. Carrie's. Carrie's mum. Carrie's mum. Is at school. Hmm? Talk about okay. So Carrie's mom. Who Carrie's mom? Where is she at school? And it's career day. So, Carrie's mom is at school to talk about her. To talk about her day. Her day in her occupation as a Dentist. So when she talks about her her day, when she talks about her day, her day in her occupation as a dentist, then the audience or the pupils they will understand. Okay, that is the. Uh, I mean, first thing, the the audience will be able to understand what does she do. Okay, then they will also be able to understand what what she does and also. What is her routine like, you know? Okay, that means we have to add, okay? To talk about her occupation. Yeah, because she's talking about her occupation, what does she do also? And her day. Hmm, and her day as a that occupation. Uh, her day in her occupation as a dentist. Okay, let's see. Is career day at school? Carrie's mom is at school to talk about her occupation as a dentist. Okay, we have to uh, we have to correct this sentence as a dentist. And her day. Okay, let me check. Okay, and her day. Is career day at school? Carrie's mom is at school to talk about her occupation as a dentist and her day. And her day in her and her day as a oh we have to change here okay uh, Carrie's mom is at school to talk about her occupation as a dentist okay sorry about that and her day as a dentist because I am actually spontaneously writing this so I tend to make mistakes okay. So the answer will be it's career day at school. Carrie's mom is at school to talk about her occupation and her day as a dentist. Okay. Okay. That is that means we already we've already written a short narrative about 
the main character which is Carrie's mom in the first frame. But we also have to write about this supporting character because in, in the end of the four frames in this storytelling session, the in the visual storytelling session, we will have this um, we will have this goldfish and also the orange goldfish and the yellow goldfish as they are the supporting characters, they will actually summarize the storytelling here in the last frame. So we have to talk about these uh, characters as well. So we will talk about the yellow goldfish now. Okay, there the yellow goldfish. Okay, what does the yellow goldfish say? Say it says, "I want to be a dentist too." Okay, take note. This is the first speech. Huh? It says that it wants to be a dentist first. So the so we will talk about the yellow goldfish. The yellow goldfish. The yellow goldfish. Okay. Listen to Paris, mom. And wish. Yellow goldfish listens to Carrie's mom and wishes it was it were a dentist too. Okay. See, you see, actually, actually, the yellow goldfish is actually wishing that. It will also be a dentist too. Okay, because it says, I want to be a dentist too. So you see, the yellow goldfish listens to Carrie's mom and wishes it were a dentist too. But there's another supporting character here, which is the orange, which is the goldfish. But the orange goldfish is just quiet. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't respond. It's just quiet. It just quietly goes off, ignoring the yellow goldfish. Okay, so you can write here, you can use some uh, connectors, sentence connectors somehow. The orange goldfish is... Wishes not to respond. Wishes not to respond. Okay, that's the first one. Okay. Let's read one more time. Okay, it's career day at school. Okay, well, let's read and see whether it, it actually describes, it narrates the first frame. Okay, it's career day at school. Carrie's mom is at school. Okay, you don't have to say... Uh, yeah, you have to say at school because Carrie's mom. Where is Carrie's mom? She's at school. Okay, so Carrie's mom is at school to talk about her occupation and her day as a dentist. The yellow goldfish listens to Carrie's mom and wishes it were a dentist too. Somehow, the orange goldfish wishes not to respond. Okay, let's see whether that describes or narrates the first, the first um, frame. Okay, we can read. It's career day at school. Carrie's mom is a dentist. She fixes people's teeth. I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning every day. I have a shower, then I get dressed and I have breakfast. At 7 o'clock, I take the train to work. And the goldfish, I want to be a dentist too. Okay. So, the first, the first frame, I've, I've actually narrated. I've already written a narrative of the first frame. So from the visual storytelling of the first frame, okay, I've already changed it to a short narrative. It's like a small shot 
paragraph. It's a short paragraph, okay? Consists of a few, how many sentences? One, two, three, four. Only four sentences, okay? So, we don't have to write very lengthy. We just have to write a few sentences, simple sentences, uh, which relates to the visual, which is, uh, relates to the graphic story frame one. Okay, so that that will make the visual storytelling of the first frame of the graphic story to a narrative of the first frame, this one. And the second one. Let's go to the second one. Oh, we have to let go of this because we had enough space. Actually, it's lengthier, but I don't want to make it so lengthy. Actually, it was longer than, it was uh, lengthier than this, but I shortened it because I don't want it to be too draggy, okay? The explanation is longer than this if you follow the audio. But I would like to keep it simple as this. So let's go to the second one. Okay, the second one. Joey's, okay, second frame. Okay. Joey's dad is a firefighter. He puts up fire with people. Okay, look at his speech. I drive my car to work. Sometimes I have breakfast, lunch and dinner at work. And look at our little... Supporting character here, the goldfish. Again, the goldfish, huh? not the orange goldfish, huh? the yellow goldfish. Oh, no. I want to be a firefighter. Just now, it wanted to become a dentist. And now it says, it imagines itself wearing a firefighter's costume and uh, wanting to be a firefighter now. So, what happens next? Okay. So, what? So, what is actually happening? Okay, the same thing. What is actually happening? It's the same thing because they are all in the same place and doing the same thing. So, it will be the same. It's career day. Okay, it's career day. That's the same thing because they are all in the same place. Okay, doing the same thing. Where? At school. Okay, same. You can see the picture shows the same. Okay, the picture is the same. See the background? What do you want to do? What do you do? Then you can see the blackboard. And you can see the same audience. Okay? The pupils. And this is? Who is this? Joey's dad. Okay. So, it's career day. Where Where is uh, Joey's dad at school? Who? Joey's dad. Okay? Joey's dad. So, the second, in the first, second frame, we have Joey's dad. When? Okay. Is it written there when? Uh, no. There's no time here. Not given any time here. But is uh, but he tells the, the audience, I drive my car to work. Sometimes I have breakfast, lunch and dinner at work. So you can write about. Okay. Sometimes about how Jewish that eats his lunch, dinner, and breakfast at work. Sometimes, that means he's very uh, fastful that he has to commit himself staying in put, okay? Staying there in, uh, staying there for any, that's why he has to have his food at work, sometimes, sometimes, he has breakfast, lunch, dinner, at, at work. Okay, so that is the second point. Okay, let's see. Okay. Which, so which it which occupation does uh, Joey's dad do? So Joey's dad is a Joey's dad is a firefighter. So you type here Joey's 
Set. Bisa. Fire. Fighter. Okay. So that is the job. The is that does. I, okay, how? How does he travel to work? Okay. Here, he tells the audience, I drive my car to work. He, he drives his car to work. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's check. Okay, what is happening here? It's career day. Okay. Okay, where? At school. And Joey's dad is also at school. Okay, who is Joey's dad? And when? When does... Uh, when? What does he do at what, what time or in which part of the day? Okay, so sometimes he has his breakfast, lunch... And dinner. At work. Okay. Okay. Sometimes I have breakfast, lunch and dinner at work. Okay. Which, which occupation does Joey's dad do? Okay. So Joey's dad is a firefighter. How does he go to work? He drives his car to work. I drive my car to work. To work. So how do you write the second frame? So now we can write the second frame. Second frame will also be the same. But we don't have to rewrite his career day at school. So that is like you are repeating the same thing again. So we don't have to write that. So, we skip this. Then we will start with Joey. We will start with Joey's dad. Okay. Joey's dad is at school. Okay, the same sentence. Okay, you can actually use the same sentence. He talk about his occupation. His occupation as a his occupation and his day. Let's see, is it the same? About his occupation and his day as a firefighter. As a fire firefighter. Okay. Is it the same? Why am make why am I writing almost the same? Because because the first frame and the second frame the 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 picture is almost okay. So the the narrative should also have the same pattern, sentence pattern. Okay. So now he talks about his occupation and his day as a firefighter. Okay. Okay. So now what does the supporting character do? The yellow goldfish. It says that, oh no, I want to be a firefighter. So now you can write about the yellow goldfish. The yellow goldfish. So we are actually talking about the characters. 
more than their routines, okay? Because we are actually narrating the story, writing a narrative about the frame, as also the visual, as, uh, visual storytelling. The yellow goldfish. Okay. Now, changes. Listen, listens, okay, it listens to Joey's dad. And, and now, and now wishes it were a firefighter. Just now, it wanted, it wished that, it wishes, the first, in the first frame, it wishes to be a, it wishes it were a dentist. Now it wishes it were a firefighter. Okay. And now wishes it were a, a firefighter. Yellow goldfish listens to Joey's dad and wishes it were a firefighter now. Okay. The second one, huh? So, what happens when it says the second one? That means it from it it wish it wishes uh, it were a dentist, and now it wishes it were a. It were a firefighter. So it actually changes its mind. It changes its mind. So when it changes its mind, what happens to the orange? Orange. Uh, what happens to the orange um, goldfish? Okay, in the first one, the orange uh, fish, goldfish, is ignorant. It doesn't really respond. It just doesn't want to know. Okay. In the second one, you can see that it looks quite... The orange uh, goldfish looks a bit like annoyed. Okay. Okay. So you can write here. You can write about the uh, also the orange goldfish because it's also a supporting character. The orange goldfish is annoyed. Now, okay, for the first time, in the second frame, the orange goldfish, okay, looks annoyed. And, and from the look, it's a bit... It looks annoyed, so it is annoyed, okay? Because it looks annoyed, that means it shows that it is annoyed. So you can write, the orange goldfish is annoyed now. Okay, that's the second frame. Okay, let's see whether the narrative of the second frame is appropriate for the picture. Okay, let's see the picture again. Okay, the Joey's dad is a firefighter. He puts up fires and saves people. Okay, this is his speech. I drive my car to work. Sometimes I have breakfast, lunch, and dinner at work. And the uh, little goldfish, yellow goldfish, says, uh, wishes, oh no, I want to be a firefighter. Okay, let's see the narrative for a second frame. Okay, Joey's dad is at school to talk about his occupation and his day as a firefighter. The yellow goldfish, the yellow goldfish listens to Joey's dad and wishes it were a firefighter now. He changes its mind. The orange goldfish is annoyed. So we don't have to say now. First time is annoyed. So we just write annoyed is enough. Okay, let's look at the third picture now. It's the same thing. Almost the same picture. Oh, only the person is different. Okay, the first one is the first frame, Carrie's mom. The second frame, Joey's dad. 
and the third frame, Monica's mum. Okay? So, it's the same thing. You can see the background also the same. What do you do? Okay, you have they, uh, in the picture, you can see the audience, the pupils, and also the goldfish again, the yellow goldfish. Okay, so somehow or other, it's going to be almost the same. So, we will start with the questions for frame 3. Okay, what? It's the same thing. It's a career day. Okay? It's career day. Okay, where? At school. Where? At school. Who? Who? Who is this? The third main character, Monica's mom. You write here, Monica's mom. Okay, when? Okay, you can see. Let's see whether Monica's mom does anything which has got to do with time. Okay, let's see. Monica's mom is a chef. She works in a restaurant. I take the bus to work. Okay, this is her speech huh? to the audience. I take the bus to work and I cook all day. Sometimes I go home late. So, you can write here. When? I cook all day. This is something to do with time. Huh? Then, I cook all day. Sometimes I go home late. Okay, so this is the nature of a work. Okay, sometimes I go home late. So this is this is her uh, her day in her occupation where she cooks all day and sometimes she has to go home late. She, sometimes she goes home late because maybe there are certain more orders or more, more customers in her in the restaurant. So she goes home late. Okay, how? Which or which? So Monica's mom cook all day and sometimes go late. Okay, let's see what is her job. No, oh, sorry. What is her occupation? So Monica's mom is a chef. She works in a restaurant. Okay. So Monica's mom is a chef. Okay. okay, how does she go to work? And the last question will be how. What, where, who, when, which and how. Okay, how does she go to work? I take the bus to work. So you can write here. She takes the bus to work. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so let's see. Okay, um, what what is happening? It's career day. Where at school? Uh, who? Uh, this is Monica's mom. Okay. When? Okay. Okay. When? All day. All day. Sometimes I go home late. So she cooks. Oh, sorry. It shouldn't be I. It should be she. Okay, because we are actually writing a narrative about these characters. We cannot write a speech. Sometimes she 
goes home late okay because we are actually talk uh, we are actually writing narrative about the characters let me check okay so she cooks all day and sometimes she goes home late okay which which occupation does she do monica monica's mom is a chef okay how does she go to work okay sometimes i go home i'm sorry i take the bus to work and i cook all day so she takes the bus to work okay so all are correct now the details are all correct so let's write for frame three the narrative for frame three okay so as as we have written for the first and second we have written the narrative for first frame and second frame we see the first frame that we started with is career date school this is actually the introduction for all the visual storytelling that means from frame one to frame four so we don't have to repeat it that is why i did not repeat in the second frame so i started off with the second sentence okay so it's the same tier the uh, same thing here because in the third frame is the same it's the same you can see it's almost the same picture so it will be almost the same narrative also so we will start with who is this monica monica's mom is at school to talk about her occupation and her day as a chef. Okay, let's see whether the sentence correct. The sentence pattern is the same. Okay, let me let us check. Okay. Joey is that is at school to talk about his occupation and stay as a firefighter. Okay. Okay. Monica's mom is at school to talk about her occupation and her day as a chef. Okay, same. Okay. So, now, supporting character, the yellow goldfish is a supporting character. Okay, now what does it say? I want to be a chef too. And you can see the orange, um, <laughs> the orange um, a goldfish is already getting angry or mad with the yellow goldfish. So you can say, so we, because we just have to describe about the characters. We don't have to really like describe or everything about the story. I mean, the speech, we don't have to describe about the uh, the speech given by Monica uh, about these three main characters so but we have to actually write about what's happening in the story because graphic story is a visual storytelling but when you write you have to convert the graphic the graphics into narrative story or oh, into narrative so it will be The yellow goldfish wishes it were a chef. It changes its mind. Then, okay. the first one we, we we wrote that the yellow goldfish listens to Joey's dad and wishes it were a firefighter. Now it changes its mind. Okay. Oh, I forgot that. Okay, it listens to to Monica's mom. 
When it listens, then it decides. And let's see if it's the same pattern. Wishes it were a chef. Okay. So, if uh, the yellow goldfish listens to Monica's mom and wishes it were a chef, it changes its mind again. Okay, first it changes its mind, first time. Then second time, it changes its mind again. You see? Because it's a repetition. Okay, now let's talk about the number two, which is the orange goldfish. How does it look now? Now it's no more getting, uh, get, uh, it's no more Annoyed, but it looks angry. Okay. So you can write here. The orange. Or fish. Is a thing to get okay. It's getting angry. It is not hundred percent angry, but it's getting angry now. Orange goldfish is getting angry at the yellow. Go fish. Four. For going on and on about what it wishes. What it wishes it were. Okay, so now we are we are talking more about the orange goldfish. You see, because in this picture, the third frame. In the third frame, the picture shows that the supporting character, uh, second supporting character, which is the orange goldfish, is already like getting angry. Okay, so we have to write more about the orange goldfish because it is already going to, uh, I mean, the last frame is going to summarize the whole story. So we have to write more on the goldfish, orange goldfish. So the response of the orange goldfish. The orange goldfish is getting angry at the yellow goldfish for going on and on about what it wishes it were. Okay, let's read once more and check whether the picture and the narrative of the third frame is appropriate okay Monica, monica's mom is a chef she works in a restaurant okay this is a speech i take the bus to work and i cook all day sometimes i go home late and the yellow goldfish keeps on hopping doesn't stop talking it says i want to be a chef too and orange goldfish is getting angry let's see the center uh, the narr narrative for frame three Okay, let's check. Monica's mom is at school to talk about her occupation and her day as a chef. The yellow goldfish listens to Monica's mom and wishes it were a chef. It changes its mind again. The orange goldfish is getting angry at the yellow goldfish for going on and on about what it wishes it were. Okay, what's the meaning of going on and on? That means for hopping. Hopping means, hopping means of course, not singing a song. Okay, hopping means Talking on and on and on the same thing, repeating but changing. Every now and then changing what it decides to do or, or what it wishes to be. So the, the orange goldfish gets fed up, you know. So that's what, because yellow goldfish is going on and on. On and on means like, like repeating the same thing several times. 
okay so this is okay this is uh, good okay you can also see that we have here how many sentences one two three four but the fourth sentence is a bit longer because we are almost like summarizing the story so that is why i have written the last sentence the fourth sentence a bit longer about the orange goldfish because we are going to uh so the visual storytelling is going is coming to an end and we have to summarize the story so how so when we write the narrative for the fourth frame so it will be somehow rather like a simple summary of the story and what we have learned from the story okay let's look at the fourth one okay the fourth frame is the fourth frame the same picture as the three frames before okay let's check Okay, the first frame, the second frame, third frame. So, is the third frame the same? No. And this is the last frame. So, when the fourth frame is different from the other three frames, so it means there's a twist in the story. Okay? In the visual storytelling, so what we have to do, we have to check uh, in depth uh, what is the actual story behind this frame um, so we can see first thing there are no more main characters there are only two characters here even though you see four things here i mean four animals here but there are actually only two characters supporting characters one is the orange goldfish and also the uh, one is the yellow goldfish and also the other is orange goldfish and they are the ones in this last frame and because they are the one actually murmuring or talking to each other so this is actually summarizing the story so this visual storytelling of the fourth frame is actually um, summarizing the story and also telling us uh, the moral behind the story so you can see what does the yellow goldfish say Okay, the yellow goldfish asks the orange goldfish, okay, what do you want to be, Dexter? So, the orange goldfish, goldfish name is Dexter. So, you can see the look on uh, Dexter, the orange goldfish, you can see at the, look of, at the look of his face. Okay, it looks annoyed and getting angry and it also, uh, it also, it is also being cynical by answering, I want to be a cat. And, and it imagines being a black cat trying to grab hold of yellow goldfish, uh, goldfish so that it can eat it. Why? This implies that it wishes that it were a cat that it can just stop the yellow uh, goldfish by talking and going on and on about what it wishes to be. So it can just once and for all eat it. So it wishes to be a cat. So it, it, it wishes that it were a cat so that it can just once and for all finish off this yellow goldfish by eating it. <laughs> okay. So that is the summary. And you can see is the value given here. Uh, value is every job is important. Okay. Why is it uh, being highlighted as every job is important? Because you see from the beginning there are three uh there are three um sorry there are three occupations okay Carrie's mom is a dentist Joey's dad is a firefighter Monica's mom is a chef and this if you see from the beginning look at the yellow goldfish first it says it want it, it wishes it were a dentist then it says no it wishes that it were a firefighter. Then the last one, again, changed the mind. It changes its mind. It says, oh, I want to be a chef. So you cannot be like that. So when you see this frame, it says every job is important. So that means you cannot like keep on changing your mind what you want to do in your future. So you have to understand that every job is important because every job is important because every job is different and they do things 
differently they do things which which also will help the other jobs so every job is important because they are all interrelated so if if like if we don't have monica's mom as a chef there'll be no food some people they don't cook they cannot buy food okay and also if there's an if there is no dentist if monica's mom has a toothache, who's going to take care of Monica's mom? Who's going to fix Monica's mom's teeth? Uh, and also, Joey's dad. If there's a fire in uh, in uh, in Carrie's mom's house, in Carrie's house or Carrie's mom's house, so what happens? Joey's dad has to go and put out the fire and save lives. So you see, so that is why it says every job is important because all the jobs are actually interrelated. It is as important as the other. Okay. Uh, so let's answer the fourth frame. Okay, what? Of course, it's not career day anymore. Okay. It's in the aquarium. So what is happening? Okay. What is happening? Of course, it's not a career day. Uh, what happens is a discussion. Can we just write it's a discussion okay okay where in the aquarium <laughs> so that actually says that what is happening is in the aquarium only the two supporting characters are in this frame okay who no more no more jobs huh? no more no more main characters only supporting characters so we cannot write about who is doing what okay but we write the yellow goldfish and the orange goldfish Okay. okay. When? Okay, when? Of course, we don't have any when because nobody is talking about time. We just write here now because it's the last part of the frame. Now, which? So, which? Okay, so, which? So which means? Which, which goldfish asks the other goldfish and which goldfish answers? So we just write here which goldfish? The yellow goldfish. Oh, no. Wait, Uh, it's a discussion in the aquarium. Who? The yellow goldfish and the orange goldfish. When? There's no when. Which? Sorry, which occupation? No, no. We are, we are actually talking about what the orange goldfish wish it were. Okay? Before this, it was all about the characters, the main characters having the occupation. Now we're talking about the orange goldfish what it wants to become okay so we are talking about the orange goldfish so the dexter okay dexter the orange goldfish okay when now okay which okay which 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 occupation does it want to be of course it doesn't want to have any occupations but Okay, eat the orange goldfish. Goldfish wishes. Wait. Okay, we're talking about wishes, huh? Eh? It's a chef, which 
which occupation it doesn't have any occupation but wishes it were a cat so it doesn't have an occupation but it wishes it were a cat so we okay the so because the fourth frame the visual storytelling is more about the orange goldfish okay so that is why we have to write more about the we are taking into we are taking the details of the orange goldfish here okay what is happening is a discussion where in the aquarium okay who is asking who okay yeah, the yellow goldfish is actually asking dexter the orange goldfish so the answer given as what it wants to be is it wants to be a cat so we are talking about the dexter the old goldfish because that fish only answers it wishes it were a cat and when now which the orange goldfish wishes it were a cat how there's no how okay wait let me see is it anyhow he drives his car to work okay how how it, it, it wishes it were a cat and how is going to uh finish this story so how is actually how is this orange goldfish going to finish this story okay it, it wishes it were a cat pick up catch and pick up The yellow goldfish. <laughs> okay. okay. It wishes to catch. How? How it wishes to catch so that it can catch and pick up the yellow goldfish. Okay, so how are we going to answer for frame four? Okay, so okay, you can see here discussion. Now this is the hardest part, eh? because we are summarizing the visual storytelling to a full narrative with a summary. The last part is a summary. Okay. yellow goldfish so there's a discussion going on so the yellow goldfish asked Dexter Dexter the orange goldfish now it, it cannot stop now it's not talking about what it wishes to be but now it's questioning the old the orange goldfish what it what uh, it wishes to be so because the orange goldfish is already getting angry so what happens next orange goldfish okay what it wishes it what it wants to be So there is a discussion in the aquarium okay so that uh, okay who so the yellow goldfish asked dexter the orange goldfish what it wants to be then what does dexter answer okay so who the the most important supporting character in the fourth frame is dexter the orange goldfish okay the orange goldfish it wishes it were a cat so Dexter or the orange goldfish answers it 
it wants to be a cat. Okay, the orange wolfie wishes it were a cat, okay? So Dexter answers he wants to be a cat. So it can finally get scared. Finally, scare. You can finally scare the yellow uh, goldfish. It wants to be a cat, so it can finally scare off. It scare the uh, the yellow goldfish and. Take it up. Okay, let's see okay, whether it fits. Okay, let's look at the picture first. Okay, what do you want to be, Dexter? I want to be a cat. Okay, so in frame four, the yellow goldfish asks Dexter, the orange goldfish, that it wants to be. What it wants to be. The yellow goldfish asks Dexter, the orange goldfish, what it wants to be. Dexter answers it wants to be a cat so it can finally scare the yellow goldfish and make it stop talking. Okay. I think that's enough because here we have one, two, uh, only two sentences, but it's a bit lengthy. Yeah, because we are actually summarizing the story. Uh, so we will stop here. Okay. So frame four. So that happens. Okay. So that is the one in frame four. Okay. In frame four, the yellow goldfish asks Dexter, the orange goldfish, what it wants to be. Then Dexter answers it wants to be a cat. So it can finally scare the yellow. Uh, make it stop talking. Uh, yeah, it's a bit funny. But... Uh, and that is a story, okay? So you can also see that the value in the story is, the moral value in the story is that we have to appreciate all jobs because every job is important and uh, there is no job which is not important because if we do not have all the jobs, people working on all jobs, then we will not have a um, policeman, a police officer, we will not have uh, nurses, doctors, dentists, so we cannot like not have any of the jobs. All are important. Okay. So let's read one more time all the uh, narratives from the for the first frame until the last frame. For first frame until the fourth frame. Okay. Let's just read the narrative so that you can we can like like read the narrative for the whole visual storytelling. Okay. Okay, we will start with the frame one. It's career day at school. Carrie's mom is at school to talk about her occupation and her day as a dentist. The yellow goldfish listens to Carrie's mom and wishes it were a dentist too. Somehow, the orange goldfish wishes not to respond. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, goldfish has to be together. Huh? Goldfish is one word. Okay, then second one. Joey's dad is at school to talk about his occupation and his day as a firefighter. The yellow goldfish listens to Joey's dad and wishes it were a firefighter now. It changes its mind. The orange goldfish is annoyed. Okay, annoyed means getting fed up. Okay. Third one, third frame. Monica's mom is at school to talk about her occupation and her day as a chef. The yellow goldfish listens to Monica's mom and wishes it were a chef. It changes its mind again. The orange goldfish is getting angry at the yellow goldfish for going on and on about what it wishes it were. Or we can change this. What it wishes to be. Sounds better. Okay. So let's read again. The orange goldfish is getting angry at the yellow 
speech for going on and on about what he wishes to be. In the last one, frame 4, the yellow goldfish asks Dexter, the orange goldfish, what it wants to be. Dexter answers it wants to be a cat so it can finally scare the yellow goldfish and make it stop talking. So this, so the storytelling of these four frames, okay, I've already changed it to a narrative, a short narrative with four short paragraphs. So it has become a narrative with uh, four short paragraphs consisting of mostly four sentences in each paragraph. So, so I hope that this will guide you to write narratives from visual storytelling, of course, from graphic stories. So then uh, I wish you a like uh, my video. And also, please don't forget to subscribe.